By default, dashed lines within Illustrator can look a little bit weird. What am I talking about? Well, have a look at these four examples running across the top just here. There's some odd ends going on just here. The corners are less than great. Don't know what's going on with this star just here. And the great news is, we can fix all of these problems with the click of a single button. Now I'm going to get to that in just a minute, but I quickly want to review how to actually make and edit a dashed line. So if I select this closed path just down here, to make a dashed line, we actually need access to the stroke information. So we have our stroke panel just here. Window stroke is where you can find that. And this stroke information can actually be found in other places as well. So for example, with that path selected, within the properties panel, if you click on the word stroke, there's basically the contents of the stroke panel. Also, the control panel running across the top, there's the word stroke. Click on it, again, there's the content of our stroke panel. So let's keep this nice and simple and work from the stroke panel just now. So with that path selected, it's pretty easy. We literally just click on a dashed line. Quick side note, guys, if you don't see all of the information within the stroke panel, it can actually open up at different sizes, like this, for example. The quickest way to reveal all that information within the stroke panel, go to the menu and choose show options. Now, having activated dashed line, it's actually remembered the previous settings I was playing with. So let me just clear out the gap just here. And I've just got a single number, in this case, 85 point in the dash option just here. So you can see the way the dashed line is created. It'll have a line that's 85 points long. And then by default, it will have a gap that is also 85 point long. So you can see if we change the dash, the dash and the gap length are evenly changing. If you wish to take manual control of the gap, you can type in whatever number you like just there. So in this case, 110 for the dash and 20 for the gap. That's the result just there. Now again, the dashed line edges look rather good, but check out how terrible these corners are looking. So that's what I want to show you how to fix just now. So I'm going to delete this rectangle. And actually what I'm going to do is just drag out a copy of these guys just here. So I'm going to leave the originals just up here on the top, and I'm going to mess with these bottom ones. And by mess with them, I mean fix them. So this first squiggle just here, it's an open path. So with it selected, in the stroke panel just here, the magic button is this little guy just here. So notice this first button is on by default. This one preserves the exact dash and gap lengths. So again, that's on by default. The second button is a toggle for this first one just here. And when I hover over it, you can see aligns dashes to corners and path ends, adjusting lengths to fit. So if I click on that button just now, check this out. Yes, the start and the end dash are not the same as the rest of the paths, the rest of the dash along the paths rather, but you can see everything is much more symmetrical and more aesthetically pleasing. I'll admit, not a fantastic example, but hopefully this close path just here will impress you. So with this rectangle selected just here, if I come over and activate the second button, and what do you know? I can't. What's going on? Guys, if this button is something you want to press but you can't, you need to pay close attention to what the align stroke is set to. Now, it's currently set to inside, so you can see it's grayed out. If I set it to outside, it's still grayed out. If I now set the align stroke to center, all of a sudden, this option is now available to us. And if I click on it, check it out. Look how fantastic this is. So look at these beautiful corners just here compared to this rubbish just up here. Okay, let's select this circle just here and come over and we can see this button is available to us because the align stroke is set to center already. Now, if I activate it, check it out. We've now got nice even dashes all the way around as opposed to this weird one long dash in the original example. And then let's have a look at this crazy excuse for a dash star just up here. Let's go and click on our button. And fantastic. And then you examine this for a second and you go, well, hang on, I love what it's doing with the corners, but these gaps are kind of crazy, right? So in a situation like this, I'm very happy with what's going on with the corners, but in a situation like this, is then click inside of this dash option and start to mess around with it. So I'm just holding down my shift key and using my up and down arrow keys to find a value that I like. And in this case, I'm pretty happy with the value for 120. 
So I'll click away and we are done. So that's it there guys, a whirlwind tour of dashed lines and how to fix them using this magic second button just here for aligning dashes to corners and path ends. Not forgetting if that option is grayed out, go and check your align stroke option and make sure it's set to center and not inside or outside. Alrighty, let's wrap it up just there. I hope that helps there guys. Catch you later.